Hey there, and welcome back to another episode of Paint with Sean. So today we are continuing on our dead tree on top of a mountain scene. Uh, so this is the picture that we are recreating, and last time we started with the blue portion of the sky. And so we've got our background sky fairly well dry. Um, it might be a little bit wet, but it won't uh, blend too badly, so we, we can start to put our clouds over the top here. So we're going to come in with our uh, pinks and oranges and yellows and all of the different colors that they've got. So I'll be working with my fan brush today and making uh, just some blended pinks really um, for the top. So this really comes kind of all the way up to the, the, the top edge and comes off there and there's a little blue in there that shows and then over here in the end there's a good patch of blue and there's a couple pieces in the middle but a lot of this sky is really clouds. So we wanted to have the blue behind it and allow it to dry first so that it doesn't blend into uh, the colors that we're trying to put over the top of it. So that way we can sort of control the color a little bit more. So we are working on sort of a orangey pink today. So I'm going to pull a bunch of my white and just touch the red. All right. And I'm going to just mix this color right here in the middle. Okay. Now you can see how much red I had on there makes it very pink, very pink. And so I want to start lighter. So I'm going to come right back in to my white and I'm going to light this up. So we're going to make this a lot lighter here. We don't want quite, quite, quite so much pink. All right, so a little red, little red goes a very long way. Now, we're not working on pure, pure pink. So I'm going to throw a little bit of yellow in there. And again, a little bit goes a long way, guys. It really changes that color quickly. And so this is going to give us more of a salmon type color. So you can see we're already getting more to the orangey side of it. And I'm going to throw a little more white in there. I just really want to kind of lighten this up a little bit. Okay. So we've got a good amount of good amount of paint in this sort of blended color here. Now, when you're mixing your paints, you can literally hold your brush up and see is it the right color compared to you know the portion that I want to paint. So up here is going to be a little lighter um, so I don't want a ton of paint and I'm just going to blend this out as much as possible in these places where it's just the indication of the color. Where in here where it's a little more solid we don't have to blend it quite as much. Okay so that color looks pretty close. So again when we're doing recreations they don't have to be perfect. They can, they can just be close. They can be your version with an artistic license. Now, let me show this again. The part that is the most concentrated is where I want to start the color and then go out from there because there will be less on the brush. So where I want it to be a thicker concentrated color, start there and then blend it out. Same from here. We're going to start with a big punch here and blend it out from there. And then as we come down, it gets more and more solid. You can see less and less of the blue behind it. So we can put a little bit more paint in those colors um, to match those up. So let's get some color on our palette here. So I'm just kind of scaling to where it shows in the picture. And again, guys, this will not be perfect. So we're just gonna put some color on the board here in sort of the shape that it is. Okay, just about like that. Okay, and I'm just going to put some color around here. And we're going to get a little more of our white in there. And just lighten it up here. And just put a little bit out here. Okay, now I'm going to take a dry brush <clears throat> and just blend this. Okay. Now this is going to dry out very quickly, it looks like. Okay, so we really want to get our blending going on very quickly. And you can blend this as much as you want or as little as you want. Okay, 
Okay, so this came out very dry very quickly because I don't have I don't have a wet color underneath. Okay. So because this is dry, this top coat is going to dry very quickly. You can see over here where we're still sort of wet. That kind of stayed with us. Okay. So these clouds are going to take uh, a few layers to, to get them all on there the way that we want them. Okay, but you can see we can really start to blend this out very quickly. Okay, and you can just use the corner of the brush if you want. You can use the whole face. It depends on really how much of this you're trying to keep and how much you're trying to distribute. So I'm really trying to distribute this quite a bit. Okay, so we've got a little bit there. And if you want a thinner color, you can always tap into your water, all right? So I put some water on there, and I'm going to mix that over here on the side so it's not quite as solid, all right? So it's still the same color that was on there, but it's going to be much, much thinner. Now, again, this is going to dry very quickly, so we got to work quickly as we go. But we're really trying to just put some color on the board here, okay? Just sort of a canvas board okay and again I'm gonna blend this very quickly because it's it's dry it's thin all right and I'm gonna just keep putting some some layers in here as we go and we'll get some we'll get some things happening okay these don't have to be perfectly just like the, the picture but we're gonna make them in sort of the same areas, all right? So I do still have a, a little bit of that blue underneath that's kind of blending in with our project. So I'm gonna touch into the red just a little bit and kind of spice this up into a little more of a pinkish color on here. A little less orangey. We've got more of a pink towards the top, so. We're going to keep putting a little more of this in here. Okay, and you guys can put this on however you want. Clouds are sort of forgiving that way, in the sense of they will they will play out how they how they turn out. So I'm pretty well rubbing all of the the pink color out of it getting kind of a base layer going on and again we've got some of this blue picking up into here so it's kind of greening it up a little more than I want so we'll just keep spreading this out give it a nice little fuzz to it okay. we're doing a good job here we got some some real good stuff going on so we're starting to get a little bit of cloud structure going on in here. And this is one of those things that we'll have to come back a few times to, uh, you know, kind of get the, the layout adjusted and how we want the colors to look, okay? So again, totally up to you how thick and thin you want this to be. I'm gonna thin this down. That really helps uh, distribute that color out a lot more. Now, Again, if you're if you're working over the top of a wet color, um, the thicker paint tends to blend less. If your paint is thinner, then you're going to be able to actually mix it with that other paint a lot easier. So you really do have to kind of be careful um, with the thickness of your paint. Now I can see that this is real wet over here, so I'm going to let that dry a little bit more and work over here in this area that is. A little drier okay so I've got just a little bit here got some good pieces in here just up to a pretty thick spot here okay and so again we can put layers and layers of clouds within this but we're really just trying to mix within what this painting looks like I don't like the blue that's on this brush, so I'm going to grab another one here. It's a little bit smaller. I just want to blend this out. Number 
bristles are not stiff enough. I'll try to have a little stiffer brush. So as you can see, sometimes it pays to have lots of brushes and you can really blend with lots of them. Okay, so again, these, these thin paints will, will dry very, very quickly. Okay, so it's really up to you to work in sections when you do it this way. Okay, so some of this, some of this blending is coming in nicely. And I'm really just trying to sort of distribute the color and remove any sort of brush strokes that are in there. And then as we build the layers, we'll get more and more towards <clears throat> the color and the solidity. I got a chunk there. Not sure what that was about. I don't want that. Let me just blend it out. Okay, so that was picking up some glue as well over there where it was still wet. So you really want to try to blend with these drier brushes, okay? So we're just going to keep going with our <clears throat> sort of layers of color here. And we're getting a little bit going on in here. We've got some stuff up here. We've got a, a big blue section um, that I really don't want to touch sort of right in here. So I'm going to be careful a little bit with that. And maybe kind of just outline it a little bit where, where that little section sort of looks in the paint. with the brush you're using and distribute out your color as well. Okay, so this is not a required way that you have to do this. I'm just showing you a few different techniques. So as you start to get into this painting thing on your own, maybe you're already painting along with me. I appreciate that. I'd love to see your work as well. This this was a challenge uh, that I put out on my social media. So you can follow me on Instagram uh, at paintwithshawn.com .com, <laughs> at paintwithshawn. Um, but you can follow me over there and um, get in on some of this stuff that I've been doing. And this was the painting that, that won the, the challenge that um, we put out to see who could get the most likes on the recommended picture. So... Okay, so we've got some good stuff going on over here. And again, I'm just sort of blending in some color. Okay. And you want to leave some of this blue to show through. These clouds are really just kind of free-flowing and doing their thing over here. And this sort of gets blended all up together. So we're going to work on some layers in these clouds. A lot of times, you know, we just throw the clouds in there and we give them some basic shape. But <clears throat> I'm actually trying to recreate a picture semi-realistically. So I want to try and um, work with the functions that are in it. Right? So again, we've got, we've got some real good color up in here. solid color in any space and I don't want to see any real brush strokes okay I really want to <clears throat> work on our blended color there and that one's that one's looking a little little lighter than where I wanted it to so um, I'm gonna throw a little bit of purple in with this a little red a little bit of blue Sort of mix this down a little bit. I'm gonna throw some some purple in there. And again, we're just gonna blend it. Just little circles. Okay. And I do still have a little bit of that blue underneath that's kind of wet, so we're gonna pull some of that out if we blend too much. So we're just going to continue on with our little color here and as you run out you may need to mix up some more so this is where it really kind of tests you a little bit to see what's what's your ability to manage the colors more than once okay little bits little blends 
little colors. <clears throat> okay, so I'm out of I'm out of the color that I had. Way too much yellow in that. Give a tad bit of red. I'm gonna make this to a orangey yellow here. bunch of white really lighten this up I really want this to be a lot more pink so a little more red yeah there we go get a good orange color and throw some white right in it So never be afraid, guys, of messing up. You can always go back and fix it and adjust it. There we go. I want to get a good amount of color in there. Let's get some more red. I want that more pink. Oh, yeah. There we go. And again, guys, <clears throat> the thicker you have this paint, the harder it is to blend it out thin like that. Okay, so if you get a whole bunch of paint on there, you can see this is just overloaded because I mixed it with this brush. If you need to come over to the side and just wipe a bunch off, <clears throat> that's an easy way to just have less on there. You don't actually have to change the consistency of the paint itself. Okay, you can just have less on there. So we're getting some good color on here. I really do like what we're working with. Okay, so this is more of a peach type color. I want a little more red in there. So I'm gonna bring it over here to my side and just mix a little bit on the side. A little more red. There we go, there we go. That's what I want. A little more of a, a little more of that color. on some layers guys so none of this is exact none of this is put on how it will end okay. and the harder you push the more it will blend okay so maybe i'm just going to tap off some of this color because there's a little more than i want up here we're starting to get a little dry so we're going to blend this out that's something you want to adjust is how much paint you put on at a time because again if you don't blend it right away you have to come back over to change it okay I'm just patting this to sort of take off some of that paint So we're starting to get a little bit of our <clears throat> blended color in there. And I'm going to touch the water just to thin me out. This also allows you to reuse the same color again and again um, by just adding some water. You know, sometimes it'll dry on your board and you can just kind of mix it back up and allows you again to, to have that, that very thin type of a color here. Okay, so... Coming in here, we've got a little piece that's actually fairly, fairly solid. Okay, so we can we can start to put on some some more solid looking pieces. So we don't have quite as much blue showing through. Okay. Okay, we're 
working. They are coming along for us. In. Clouds don't usually have sharp edges. They're all kind of fuzzy. So even where you have parts that like this where it's a little a little more solid in the picture, um, we're still going to probably do it in several layers. Okay. So that way we can make adjustments as we go. <clears throat> all right. So we're gonna just keep going guys this is this is one of those that's going to take quite a while to to work on and do because i'm really trying to put it together the way that it looks so we're going to keep playing with some some pieces and some structures and getting a little bit in here And you can see the less that I have on here, the lighter it pulls off of the, the actual brush itself. Okay. So I'm just going to continue to blend with that same dirty brush. It really helps distribute some of that color a little more evenly sometimes when it's already gone. Applying and blending and applying and blending and creating some some depth of things going on guys so Appreciate you hanging out with me today again. If you're a new Viewer appreciate your time. This is something that I'm really enjoying in my own time and um, Sharing along with the people that Enjoy painting like myself. So if you're someone who enjoys painting you may want to subscribe to the channel and follow along as we go with these we're going to do this one in a step-by-step -step painting that shows each piece individually as it comes together um, until we work out to the finished painting so again thanks for following along if you want to get subscribed that's awesome if not you can just watch today and appreciate your time for the one shot you're here so again let's just throw Adding some color and blending it out. And it doesn't take a lot of pressure to blend. It really depends on what you want the work to, to come out like. Okay, so if you want things to stay a little more solid like that, don't blend it as much. All right, we're going to continue to <clears throat> blend as we go and add our little color here. It's coming along pretty nicely. We've got a good bit in here. Oh, another piece right there. And again, wherever the color is the most concentrated on your picture, that's where you want to start with the application. Because those pieces will stay more solid, even, even with the blending. Okay, we can, we can blend the tops and blend the little insides as well, but wherever you apply the paint first is going to be the, the thickest amount coming off of the brush. Okay, so we really want to make sure that we're kind of paying attention to where we start on here. It's not always the same and just wherever randomly, okay? I'm just kind of filling in as the picture shows with parts that have more and parts that have less. And putting this on here a little bit unevenly. Okay, guys, that's one of the things with nature is it's always uneven. It's never really something you can kind of define in the colors. And so it's a little bit tough like that. And even in the structures, clouds are not even. Okay, so there's there's brighter colors, there's darker colors, there's holes in them, all kinds of things going on. Okay, so we got our little blue area over here, and 
It's sort of another one that comes into the edge. And I don't have a lot of paint on here because I don't want to put a lot of paint on. Okay, so I didn't reapply in this one, and you can see you can almost just blend with the application of the brush itself. So I just like this other brush because it gives it sort of a fuzzy blended look. Okay. <clears throat> but you can see how you can make this practically just blend off into nothing. Okay. <clears throat> Got a little more up here that needs to come on because we, we pulled some off. That's okay. We can put more on. That blue that was up there is pretty solid. Okay, that's that's fairly blended, so I'm just gonna touch it lightly. Nice and light. Alright guys. So again, if you do paint along with me, I would love to see what you've got. So if you followed me on Instagram or any one of these social media channels. Um, I do have TikTok and YouTube is the one where most of this comes out, but <clears throat> if you follow me on any of these, I'd love to see your work. Go ahead and tag me in your pictures or comment on one of mine and you can you can add a picture there or you can send it to me in a private message, whatever you want to do. I'm totally fine with whatever whatever method you want to share. That's totally fine for me. Okay, so I'm getting a little dry on my paint. You can see it gets a little bit tough to blend. So I just put my brush in the water. I'm coming back to this exact same color that I've had. But you can see that between the blue and the, the orange, it's already creating layers of depth in there. All right? So this isn't going to be something that... Um, they always have to use a lot of different colors even. Okay? This is something that you can simply blend colors to a different degree. And if you've got an underneath, the thinner those get, the more that underneath color will also show through. Okay. And I'm, I'm changing the direction of my circles as well. Okay. So it's not an even perfect mix. Now again, <clears throat> this is uh, sort of an orangey color. Um, I do want it to be a little bit more purple. Um, so I'm adding just a, a good bit of red to pink in this up. And that pink over the blue is what's really going to make this look kind of a purpley. Okay, so we're gonna get our, our pink color going on. A little less than the orange we were working with. I'm gonna thin this down with the water so that way it, it distributes real thin. It is easier to blend, but you've gotta blend it faster. <laughs> okay. So we've got our we've got sort of our pinkish color going on. Okay, I'm just gonna add a little bit in there and get a little bit of highlights going. Very long to dry. So the more you push, the more you'll pull it off. Okay, so we're starting to add a little bit of hue to it. Alright. <clears throat> so again, didn't reapply. Still got some of that pink on here. I'm going to apply this up in here and kind of tint this down to a little more of a pink than what it was. Keep adjusting this color and blending it in. I'm paying attention to the picture itself. This isn't 100% random. <clears throat> so we're looking at where our color is and where the holes of the clouds line up and all of those sorts of things. Okay, so we've got a little bit going on up in here. Just going to blend this over here. Give us some real light color. Really light.
Okay, we're getting some some good color in there. I like it. We got sort of a solid stream coming in through here, and this again, you can see this this color that I got in here is a real a real pinkish tone. So if I just left that on there, boy, that would stand out. But I want this to just be hints of color. Okay, so we're just adding colors in <clears throat> as we go. All right, and I still have not applied more paint. This is just what we've been sort of working with. Okay. And when it gets thin like this on the brush, you can really sort of just blend it straight from the brush. Cool. So you can see, guys, we're starting to get uh, some real good structure on here. We're really having a good time with this, honestly. Um, I don't always recreate paintings. I usually make them myself out of my own head. Um, sometimes they get kind of boring that way. And so I wanted a, a bit of new inspiration. So that's what this challenge was about, was to find some new things to paint that I hadn't typically painted in the past. Yeah, that looks good. That really just kind of blends out. Yeah, there's that solid edge to it. So that's what we want to recreate. Just sort of the look. Sort of the ideas of where things are. Okay. So I've got another little piece over here. I'm just going to touch. Just touch it. And a lot of times the color will get stuck on the end. So if you push on the bristles and bend this down, you can actually catch in some of that reserved color that was down there. You didn't know you still had on your brush. Okay, so you can see guys, if you just make little swirls, <coughs> you can really blend this out. orange color we were working with earlier. It's fantastic. So that's why I like to use dirty brushes as well, as you can sort of mix these colors together and it gives various tones and highlights and lowlights of things going on. So we've got our, our couple little blue spots. Really enjoy those. We've got one here, a little bit here. There's another one sort of kind of in this region. So our, our blues are looking pretty good. Let's get a little bit less blue up here. Just really scrub this in. Just kind of blend it in up here on the little top. Looks good. All right. So I like the structure we got going on here, guys. Um, our, our clouds are very dynamic We've, we're really getting some good color in here we're getting some depth i really like the blending effects that we've got going on that's one of the things that um, sometimes can be a little bit of a struggle within acrylic paint is getting it to blend to get these clouds to really look like clouds themselves versus just paint strokes okay so We've got the top portion going on here. Uh, we're gonna get into a little bit more of our yellows and uh, oranges down here at the bottom. But I think things are looking pretty, pretty good. We're really starting to get, you know, a fairly close coloration going on in here. So, you know, we've got our big blue thing going on here and we need some stripes on top of that layer. And I've got a nice big, yellow highlight that needs to come in through here and that's a more of a solid color so again guys i'm getting more of the the fuzzy background stuff so you can see we've got a little blue area over here going on and we've got some different shades of blue um, that we're working within so so we're going to continue working on this we're going to come back with our yellow colors and some more of the the solid white so you don't quite see through and that's what's really going to start to draw some dynamics into this. So we'll call this video finished 
and I will see you guys in the next one.